Okay, I'm just going to give two quick examples and then let you go on this. All right. Come on. I don't know why one note closed on me. But there we go. All right. So, we're going to rotate this thing around this purple line up here. Okay? So, it's going to be kind of an object that looks kind of like an hourglass type of thing. Okay? So, that's what the solid will look like. So, how do we do it? Well, we integrate... And since we're going around a horizontal, we go from here to here, so from 0 to pi, okay? Of the further one away, well, how far away is this? How far away is the red line from the purple line? 1, right? It, it never changes from being 1 away. Here it's one away, here it's one away, here it's one away. It's always one. So it's just one squared, okay? The radius squared. Minus, how far is it away from here to here and here to here? Well, it's going to be one minus sine of x squared. Because to find how far it is away, we're finding the difference. What's a difference? What you get when you subtract things. Everything from math from way back when is just all come together in calculus. Okay? Dx. Okay? So, throwing it on the graphing calculator, and this is where it gets, it's going to get a little bit goofy. Because the graphing calculator even struggles with some of this. Okay. So I'm going to go math 9 from 0 to pi. There we go. Of 1 squared, which is still 1, minus parentheses, 1 minus sine of x. Oop, sine of x, close that parenthesis, close the next parenthesis, and then square that, because we're squaring this part. So you got to be really careful with parentheses, dx. And then, since we're going from 0 to pi, we're in radian mode. Not degree mode, so I need to make sure we're in radian mode as far as mode goes. And then integrate. And it gives me some crazy number. And that, there's a pi on the outside too. So it's that times pi. Okay? So, 2.2.429. Or whatever. Okay? But that's the basics of that. All right. So then, for this one, we're going to rotate around this line. Okay? So we're going to rotate around this line. So it's going to be the integral, and since we're rotating... Did it stop recording now? Am I still recording? Looks like I'm still recording. I don't know what just happened there. Since we're going around this line, hide that, it's going to be the integral, and since it's a vertical line, we go on the vertical axis. So we start at 0, and we're going up to 4. What line is further away, the blue line or the black line? The black line is right here. Okay, that's always how far away? Two away. So it's two squared minus, then 
how far is this away? Well, how far that away is away, we can't tell yet because we have to solve this function for x. Because it's 3 and you can't make it minus that, so you got to solve it for x. So we'll have to take the square root of y equals x minus 1. So it's the square root of y plus 1 equals x. And so we'll take 3 minus the square root of y plus 1. Well, if we do that, what's 3 minus 1? So it's 2 minus the square root of y squared dy. Okay? And if you tried to solve this without a calculator, you can, but it takes a little while. But with a graphing calculator, math 9 from 0 to 4, this one will come out to be a little better number, of 2 squared minus parentheses 2 minus y, or square root of y, squared dy, boom. And you get 13.363. The graphing calculator has a hiccup in there because it put a 6 in there. It's really 13 and a third pi. Well, 3 times 13 is 39 plus 1 is 40. So it's 40 pi over 3 is the answer. Okay? So that's how we do those. Subtract. And you got to be very careful for these going around a vertical because you got to get these in terms of x and then do your subtraction. Okay? So they take a little bit to do. Those of you who get lucky enough to get all multiple choice ones, um, yeah, they're a little easier than the ones you actually have to figure out. So there you go. Good luck. That's it for today.